Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Christy and today I have a what I eat in a day on lazy keto video that I want to share with you. So I'm going to show you breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, drinks, and even supplements. I love to do these videos. I have an entire playlist of those and I release one every single Monday. And the reason I like to do these videos is it gives me a chance to show you just how easy keto can be. You do not have to overcomplicate it and you get to eat. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. That way you will never miss a video and hit that notification bell. Follow me over on Instagram. My name will be right here and you're gonna get before and after photos. Plus I post on my stories daily. Our Facebook group that we have put together is amazing. It's an encouraging group of people that are all doing a low carb, lazy keto, dirty keto. So run over there and join that group. It'll be linked in the description box. Click on it, it'll take you right on over. You're gonna love it. Before we get started with today's video, I do have a deal to share with you. I was lucky enough to get the buy five, save 35% off with Perfect Keto again. This is an absolutely amazing, outstanding, astonishing deal to save 35% off. So it's definitely a great time to stock up. I'll have the dates, I'll have the link, and I'll have the discount code in the description box. I'm gonna show you what I would put together in my bundle, but believe me, there are so many combinations of things that you can pick out. It is amazing. Again, link in description box, check it out. So first thing I would pick up is always gonna be my collagen. We talk about this all the time, hair, skin, nails, and joints. My two favorite flavors are the salted caramel and the chocolate. Love the peach base. This is an exogenous ketone, so it's good for curbing your appetite. It doesn't break a fast. It also helps with mental clarity and energy. And we already know I try to stay away from caffeine as much as possible. Peach and chocolate, my two favorites. This one is one of my newer favorites and it is the whey protein. And that's because I have been using protein to break my fast. That mixed with the previous two things that I just showed you. Plus the unflavored is great for recipes. We already know that I love the nut butters. Chris's favorite is the macadamia vanilla. These are so good. And I also like the almond butter and jelly. Then last but not least, and I hope it's back in stock, is one of my all time favorites now. It will go down in history as my favorite perfect keto product. And that's because I love sweet treats and this is their peanut butter cookies. This is the best peanut butter cookie that is keto on the market. Take my word for it. So that's what I would put in my bundle. Tell me below what you would put in yours. Don't forget, buy five, save 35% off. This is only good for a few days. Do not miss out if you need to stock up. Just finished my two mile walk for the 31 miles in 31 days challenge. I'm not gonna lie, I am beat this month. I think I'm gonna take tomorrow off from walking. Okay, I'm gonna head in here and I think I'm gonna be making a frappuccino this morning. I'm in the mood for something sweet and cold. This morning it's gonna be a caramel frappuccino. So all I have in here is some decaf iced coffee. I just brewed this last night in my Keurig, sit it in the refrigerator in a coffee mug and let it get cold overnight. And then I added some ice cubes, not too many. Next is gonna be my perfect keto collagen. This one is the salted caramel. It smells heavenly. And I'm just gonna add that. I just opened my new canister of base and I spilled some. Oh, this is exogenous ketones. This is the perfect keto chocolate base. And I like to go ahead and get it in first thing in the morning for energy. I usually take it before I go for a walk or do any kind of workout, but I completely forgot this morning. So I'm gonna put half a scoop of the chocolate in here. Next, I'm gonna be adding some unsweetened almond milk. This is just the Great Value brand. It is the original and it has a very few carbs, if you can see. So eight ounces, one cup of this has one total carb and less than one net carb. So I'm gonna put mm, probably about four ounces in here, half a cup maybe. So here's what we got going on so far. And all I'm gonna do is mix this up and my magic bullet. And there's my morning frappuccino. Does that not look absolutely amazing? Much cheaper, believe it or not, than going to Starbucks. I know people say that these items are expensive and they are, but they do provide me benefits along my keto journey. And if I'm not buying a $7 frappuccino every day, I can definitely put that money towards something that is going to help me. So that's how I justify 
large purchases in the keto community. Definitely not necessary. We've talked about that before. Although I do think that you need your collagen for hair, skin, nails, and joints, if nothing else. This is absolutely delicious. You have to try one. I'm a creature of habit. You guys know that you're here for the chit chat, not for the food anyways, right? I know it's like a billion degrees out and I have a sweatshirt on. That's because I stay cold when I'm in the house. Okay, so this morning for breakfast, I'm doing my favorite eggs. I picked these up at Walmart. I still have not tried the ones I picked up at Sam's yet. I wanna finish these off first. And these are the organic eggs, free range. You can definitely taste the difference in these and just regular eggs, but do what you can afford. I always say that. So I'm gonna have with that cheese, I'm gonna use the provolone cheese because this one has no carbs in it and I picked this one up at Sam's. To that, adding some bacon. This is the Black Label Hormel fully cooked bacon. You can get around 72 slices of this again at Sam's and it is like $11 and something and then I'm not heating up the house. I wanted to try this because this was definitely something that's going to be a staple in our house during the kitchen demolish so I wanted to make sure it was good. We love it. This is what I'm having and then I'm also going to be having some sausage. This is the spicy one I pick up at Walmart. So this is not super spicy. I already let you guys know that. I just like it the way I fix it, throw it in the microwave, thaw it out just a little bit, and then put it in the skillet to crisp it up on both sides. So sausage, eggs, cheese, and some bacon this morning. So I'm counting my eggs. You ask me all the time if I count my eggs as carbs. Yes, I count each egg as one net carb. So one, two, three carbs today for breakfast, and my cheese has none. And of course, I'm gonna go in with some more water that's what we got going on. Let's go ahead and plate this. Scrambled eggs again this morning. It's one of my favorites. So I'm gonna add some of the Dax spices to it. This is the everything. And also I'm gonna be adding in some Redmond real salt. Uh, I need to replenish this apparently. Sad day people, sad day. It's all gone. Breakfast is served. That's what we got going on. Four pieces of bacon, sausage extra crispy, an egg with provolone cheese, three net carbs, Again, I already told you I'm drinking water this morning. Super simple. That's what I want right now in my life is super simple. For lunch today, I am making wraps. And instead of using the low carb tortilla wraps, I'm just gonna be using the egg thins. And you wanna know why? Because there's zero net carbs. <laughs> In this, you have zero carbs, pretty much zero everything, except for protein is gonna have one, and your sodium is gonna have 25, and that's for one wrap. I'm probably gonna make two of these. I had picked these up at Publix, and I think you can also get them in the cauliflower. I love the crepinis. I'm gonna be adding some mayo to that. I use the Dukes because it has no sugar added. I am currently out of the boar's head, so it is a sad, sad day. This is the one that I pick up for the girls, so I am gonna be adding some of the Mesquite Smoked. This is the Oscar Mayer, and I get the family pack at Walmart. This one has no artificial preservatives, no nitrates or nitrites, and no added hormones, and that's why I get it. It does have carbs, so for two ounces, I'm gonna be getting one carb. I'm gonna make some bacon to go with that. We already talked about bacon this morning and I'm also gonna be adding cheese, which we talked about too. This is the provolone and I like it because it's zero carbs, only one here. And that's for four slices and I may go ahead and eat four. So if I make two of these, we're talking only two net carbs. So I have my crepinis laid here and I'm just gonna go ahead and layer all my goodies on top. Start out with the mayo. Once I have the mayo on, use whatever seasonings you want next because anything you put on here is gonna stick better when you put it on the mayo. So I'm gonna put some Redmond's Real Salt. I actually have a few to choose from and um, I think I might put a little bit of the onion salt. What do you guys think? Let's try that. Cheese, guess what? Each one of them is getting its own slice. Went ahead and put four pieces of the bacon in the microwave because I'm all about the bacon. Then I added two slices of my deli meat to each one of these because, I mean, if you've never tried the crepinis, they're pretty flimsy, so don't wanna pile them too full. This is the point where Kerrigan always adds like homemade ranch or some kind of sauce, but I used mayo. You know what else this needs? <laughs> 
my Atomic Spicy Pickles. And these are the ones I pick up at Aldi. I'm in love with these. They are a little spicy, not bad at all. If you eat those peppers that are in there, they may set you on fire. I never eat those. But I'm gonna just take two pickles and put one on each. Now that's what we got going on. I'm just gonna fold them over. And this is what today's lunch looks like. I added some pork rinds for crunch. These are the ones that I pick up at Sam's. They're just members mark. Tip on this, if you buy the Mike's pork rinds or any of the other ones, just keep this jug and refill it so you don't have to worry about trying to reseal that bag. Zero carbs here. And for drink today, I think I might have a Zevia. This one is zero calorie soda and it is in cream soda. No sugars, no artificial sweeteners, and it's caffeine free. You can pick these up Target, Kroger, Walmart. They have them everywhere. And right here, check it out, all zeros. So this is actually less than three net carbs, but I'm gonna count it as three because you know me, I like to round up. having Chick-fil-A tonight. <laughs> Let's go see what's on their menu that I can squeeze into today's micros. So I'm gonna go with hopefully a side salad and a grilled chicken. I did just go with a combo meal. So if you don't want like their waffle fries or their fruit, you can always get the side salad. That's what I did today. And there's my sandwich. I checked it to make sure there was no bun. Let's go home and eat because I'm absolutely starving to death. Honestly, we rarely eat out, but I do like to bring you these videos occasionally in case you get stuck out, you're traveling, and you may need to know what you can pick up in a hurry. This is something I almost never do, and I'm gonna be drinking a diet soda. So I just got the combo meal. The sandwich that I asked for was the grilled chicken club, no bun, no tomato. So there's that, smells amazing. And since I got the combo meal, I told them that I did not want the fries or fruit just to go ahead and give me the side salad. So there's my side salad. It did come with this, let's see, charred tomato crisp red bell peppers. Let's see what this is. It doesn't look like it's croutons or anything like that. Your carb, okay, it's got zero sugars automatically. That's good. And your total carbs are six, dietary fiber zero. So for me, that's a no-go. Those are going in the garbage. I am taking out the little tomatoes that are in here and that's because not that I am opposed to tomato eaters on keto because you guys know I do lazy slash dirty keto. I'm just not a tomato fan. So I'm taking those out and I'm gonna put the rest of the salad on here, maybe. I may keep some of this because there's a lot of salad going on. Inside the bag was also some honey roasted barbecue sauce. Um, you can see soybean oil, sugar. I'm gonna assume with the honey right there in the name, that's gonna have a lot of sugar in it. So I'm just gonna toss it as well. The dressing that I picked up for my salad is the one that is my absolute favorite there. This is the avocado lime ranch. And let's look at the macros. So this entire packet is a serving with 310 calories, two sugars, three carbs and less than one fiber. So this has got, I would count if I ate this entire package as three total carbs, three slash net carbs, but that's a lot of avocado ranch. That's two ounces. I would 
I'm not even gonna come close to that. Probably not even gonna come close to eating half. Now this is a very low carb meal because I just have, let me show you, the grilled chicken on the bottom. If you can see that, it's on a bed of lettuce. I have a piece of cheese and three slices of bacon along with the salad. Let's go ahead and drizzle some of this on there. There's what we got going on for dinner tonight. I did not even come close to using half of this. If you've not tried this, this is so good. But it is dirty keto because mm, right there in the main ingredient, soybean oil, uh, corn starch. It's got a lot going on in here. This stuff is absolutely delicious if you've not tried it and you're doing dirty keto. Next time you're near a Chick-fil-A, pick one of these up. Dinner for tonight, salad. We got chicken. We got Diet Dr. Pepper. I'm so embarrassed. That's what This is what I'm embarrassed about most guys is because... I'm not a really big soda drinker and I rarely have it. In my estimation, I'm going to go high with this and I'm gonna say probably five net carbs. You know, I usually just guesstimate my numbers. So I'm gonna go with five net carbs so that today I can definitely stay under 20 net carbs. But got some veggies going on here, some cheese and the ranch and that's where I got the majority of my carbs. Did I mention I didn't even come close to eating all of that side salad? Okay, didn't know. So what I'm gonna do is just put the lid back on this and stick it in the refrigerator for tomorrow. Just a really quick rundown. I do take supplements daily. These I just pick up at Walmart, vitamin D and iron because I'm deficient in both. I also take the Equip line of supplements and that's because they are keto friendly and I don't wanna be eating my carbs in vitamin form or supplement form. So the ones I take on a daily basis are the grass-fed beef liver, joint support, apple cider vinegar, and also the immune support booster. If you're interested in the Equip line of supplements, I do have a discount code and I'll put that in the description box for you, but I highly recommend these. These are my go-to vitamins. Really quick deal alert I wanted to let you know about. Through August 3rd, it's gonna be 50% off. The link in the discount code that you need for that is gonna be in the description box. So do not miss out on 50% off immune support booster. Let's talk about today's snack. It's late, people. I can't believe it's this late. <laughs> we spent the day at the pool, as you saw, so we all came in, took our showers, and now I'm having my snack. So this is just the Tezo Iced Passion Tea. You can pick this up at Target. I recently saw it, so just know it's there. But I order mine off of Amazon, and when I brew it, I brew it extremely strong so that when we mix it with other stuff, it's not weak. So when I'm just making the regular, just iced passion tea, I've got ice in here and some water. Then I'm gonna go ahead and mix this in. You can make the Starbucks pink drink with this if you want, but today I just feel like no carbs here and iced tea. Now I'm just gonna add a packet of stevia to get this sweet. Sometimes I add two, it just depends. And I pick these up at Aldi. The ones that are in the green box, the little individual packets, those are keto friendly. This stuff is so good even by itself. And I like it because I can drink it at night. It's caffeine free, it says right there on the box. So instructions, everything you need on here. Love it, make sure you try it if you've not because you're not getting your carbs here. It's just plain tea. And of course I have to have something sweet. Boom, I haven't had a cookie in what seems like forever. And you guys already know I love these. You know what, let's go sit down and talk while I eat my cookie. Okay, we're already home for the night and I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> it's seven o'clock. I'm doing my snack and chat late because we spent all day by the pool. And you're like, but Christy, you're so white and pasty. Yes, yes I am. And it's because I am a firm believer in sunscreen because we don't wanna make the wrinkles any worse. Wrinkles are from sun damage, people, and smoking and in the environment. So wear your sunscreen. I've not had anything sweet all day, have I? And you know I'm obsessed with these cookies anyways. The perfect keto peanut butter. The peanut butter ones are my favorite. They're so good. They're sweetened with allulose and the texture of these, they're like a soft batch cookie. Let's see if I can get that to zoom in for you guys. Can you see that? These are just absolutely amazing. So they're not gritty. There's no aftertaste, there's no cooling effect. They're just soft and moist and delicious. And honestly, I could eat the whole box. Who are we kidding? Yes, I do already have my pajamas on because it's seven o'clock, I took a shower and I went ahead and put my pajamas on. It was 95 degrees today. 
School's getting ready to start back soon. I think we got the notification today that our kids can either be sent back to school or they can do online classes. We have a few days to figure out what we're gonna do. I'm nervous, not gonna lie. But I'm trying to stay positive. I'm just gonna, you know, whatever happens, happens. We're gonna figure this out. It's just the time we live in now. I do have a few things to talk about. So I have learned something extremely beneficial lately and I wanna share that with you guys. I have realized that having an accountability partner on my keto journey has helped me tremendously. I just started this with one of my really good friends, Elizabeth with Countess of Low Carb. She has a YouTube channel, so you guys can go check her out. She is amazing, and she has lost like 79 pounds doing keto. And we had been talking about some of our struggles, you know, with anxiety and overeating and, you know, falling off of the keto wagon and not wanting to exercise. And she brought to my attention that if we started doing some kind of accountability, speaking with each other, DMing each other, um, telling each other our plans for the day, or if we struggle, we can send a message. Just putting it out there in the world and having someone to help encourage you has been amazing. It has been life-changing, actually. So if I'm having some anxiety and I think, okay, I'm gonna get in my car, I'm gonna run to Walmart, and I'm gonna pick up some candy. I realize that I'm gonna have to put that out into the world. I'm gonna have to tell Elizabeth, you know, Elizabeth, I broke down and I had stuff that was non-keto. I realize that maybe I should need it. I don't want to disappoint uh, myself when I have to say the words out loud that, you know, I fell off the keto wagon, or I cheated, or I had something off plan. So it has really helped me. I'm gonna mention it in the Facebook group and maybe start a thread. Some of you guys can try to match up with people that are under the same circumstances as you, you know, like age or even like state or if, you know, males wanna group up or females, you know, we'll figure something out, but I'm hoping to start a thread so you guys can exchange like Instagram names or you can direct message each other over um, on the Facebook group, things like that, and help each other stay accountable. It has been just amazing. So if you don't have anyone in your life, because I don't wanna put that on Chris, because I feel like if I put that in my marriage, when Chris is like, Christy, do you feel like you need that candy? Chris knows better than to say something like that to me because <laughs> A, I'm either gonna break down and cry or B, I'm gonna snap at him and it's gonna start an argument. So that's not with my accountability partner what I would do with Elizabeth, whereas I know that I would if, it, if Chris was my accountability partner. Does that make sense? I absolutely love this taste of tea. It is so good. August challenge coming up. And we recently discussed it over on the Facebook group when I did a live and I posted about it to help get some ideas and it's still over there. So if you have ideas, run over to the Facebook group and give me your ideas. Here's what I'm thinking so far and I'm really excited. We're not gonna do like a month long challenge and I'm not even gonna do weekly challenges for August. For August, we're gonna have daily challenges. I am currently in the process of filling out the calendar. I have an August calendar and each day is gonna be something different. So it's gonna involve exercise one day, hydration the next, try something new keto related or try a new keto recipe. It's going to have a self care day. Each day is gonna be different. Some will be repeated throughout the weeks like maybe the hydration or exercise, but we're gonna try different stuff so that every day we are doing something different. And so people that can't do, say, the yoga or don't wanna do the yoga for an entire week, it's not gonna be an option. Every single day is gonna be something different. So you're gonna be able to participate in the August challenges, at least one or two, you should be able to. I'm personally gonna do them all and I am super excited about it. So I know you're not gonna be able to tell much, but here's what the little calendar is gonna look like and I've already started filling in some of the days. I don't think you guys can probably see that because of the lot, but like one day is gonna be eliminate your dairy. So we're gonna try that. One day is going to be fasting. So 
choose whatever fast you want, 12, 16, 14, 24 hours, whatever's best for you, whatever you feel comfortable with. Another day is gonna be get in 20 minutes of exercise. Of course, hydration, drink at least 80 ounces of water. So we got a lot going on here. Go look for that thread over on the Facebook group if you have any suggestions, or you can put them in the comments below. You know I read every one of those, I heart every one, and I try to comment on as many as possible. It's been a good week for me. I hope you guys have had a good week too. There has been no cheats, no cheats. I had a no cheat week. Do you know how long it's been since I had one of those? I'm not stressing over the kitchen. I'm not stressing over the kids going back to school. I am just putting it out there and I am just letting it go. Maybe it's the CBD oil. Plus, let me mention this. I have started sleeping better. I was struggling there for a while. I don't have any curtains in my bedroom you all do the same thing. I have blinds, but they're white, so it lets a lot of light in, and I like that. I like a light house, a bright house. So, no curtains, only blinds in there. And this past week, I grabbed my mask. It was just one of the sleep masks that cover your face. One dollar at Dollar Tree, and I thought, I'm gonna give this thing a shot and see if it helps, and I don't wake up at five o'clock as soon as the sun pops up over the mountain. And let me just tell you guys this, that mask has changed my world. I have actually been sleeping till 7.30. That is just not like me. And it's because that mask is on my eyes. It's not letting in a ton of light and I don't know what time it is. So I just, I get to sleep till 7.30. It has been wonderful. So maybe that's why my stress is down some. I'm getting in some extra sleep. Listen, I'm looking into Amazon, going on there and trying to find a really good mask, one that fits my face properly, you know, because like I said, I'm using one that I'd picked up at Dollar Tree forever ago and it was just in my nightstand and I used it when we did Dollar Tree taste tests in my old videos. So, uh, yeah, that thing's working really good. So I may just stick with it or I might get a new one off of Amazon. But let me tell you, if you have issues waking up extra early because the sun, invest in a mask. Even if it's $1 or pick out a good one on Amazon or in a store somewhere, if you go out, try a mask. Life changing. Okay, I had two net carbs in my cookie and no net carbs in my drink, so. It's pretty much gone. Thanks for hanging out with me in today's snack and chat. I enjoyed it. If there's anything that you're wanting me to test in my next blood glucose video, put it in the comments below. If there's anything that you're wanting to do in the challenge, put that below. And if there's anything you're wanting me to talk about in the next snack and chat, drop it in the comments. I'm gonna go in the house and work a little bit, just a little, because it's like, I wanna unwind, I wanna calm down, and I want to get ready for a good night's sleep. Guess who has not been happy because we've not been home all day? Yeah, that would be the one right there. I'm sorry, baby. We went to the pool, didn't we? I think he just laid here and slept the entire day. <laughs> but he's glad we're home now, aren't you? Aren't you, buddy? See, I told you I had my pajamas on. It's just a little set that I picked up at Walmart. Super cheap, but so comfy. In case you guys are interested, Quincy has an eye infection in both eyes and he is currently on antibiotics. I swear, it's always something with him. But he is worth every penny. Yes, you are, because you're my favorite. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope everyone is doing well and I will see you next time. Make sure you check out some more of my videos before you leave. Bye.